Whenever someone asks how would you build a Trello kind of app, I'm pretty sure all the interest revolves around dragging and saving cards in the database. And we are here for doing just that. The first thing we're going to do is install Vue Draggable. This is the Vue version of the popular sortable JS library and it will basically do all the heavy lifting for us in terms of moving cards between them and from one list to another. Let's scroll down to see some installation instructions. We can pull the package in using npm. If I go back, we also have a typical use example, so let's copy that and open our card list component. Scroll down to our list and paste it in. Let's import the draggable component. I'll do import draggable from view draggable. But for some reason, PHPStorm sees this as an unused import. But what I found out is that if I capitalize the component name, it works. So if we use draggable with a capital D, the component is resolved correctly. Let's continue with the V model. Here we'll need a cards reactive array. The group should also be cards. This will allow us to move cards from one list to another. And we won't need the start and end event listeners, so we can remove these. Moving on, let's grab the list class. So I'll paste that in. And now this item slot right here provides us the element, which is basically a card from the cards array, which means we can grab the card list item component and paste it in, remove the v4, the key, and now card will be element and we can remove the old UL. Now let's add that cards array. So I'll go here and say const cards equals ref of props list cards. Let's go in the browser. And here it is, but our list is a bit messed up. If we inspect the elements, we'll see that the draggable component rendered as a div element. To make it render as an UL, we can specify a tag attribute. And now if I refresh, the list is rendered correctly. And I think we can even move items between them. But of course, if I refresh, the list is reordered back to how it was before. But before we get into saving the card position in the database, let's add some dragging class for the cards. To style the card that is currently being dragged, we can specify a drag class attribute. However, we cannot use Tailwind here directly because the attribute accepts a single class. So let's set that to something like drag. Another style related attribute we can add is ghost class. This class will be applied to the space where the card will be dropped. Let's set that to ghost. Now let's open the card list item component. Scroll down and add the style, which will be scoped, and we'll have drag and ghost. Now, when a card is being dragged, I want to have it tilted a bit. So I'll use transform and then rotate 5 degrees. If I go in the browser, refresh, and drag a card, it doesn't work but that's because Draggable already uses Transform to move the cards around. What we can do is go back and wrap everything within another element and style that one instead. So I'll do Li and turn the inner Li into a div. And now down here, instead of rotating the drag class, I'll rotate the first div. Let's go in the browser, refresh, I'll ignore the weird styling, but if I drag a card, you see that the inner card is tilted. Now the reason we have these two cards here is because this class is applied twice. We have it once here, and we also have it here on the card list item. So let's remove this. Save, go back in the browser, and here it is. Now let's style the ghost class. The ghost class is applied to the card right under the dragging card. So this one right here. Let's go back to the card list item component and we'll do background, let's say light gray. 
border radius 6 pixels and for the background to be visible we need to hide the element inside the ghost class so we'll do ghost div and then here we'll do visibility hidden let's go in the browser refresh drag the card and here's our background now that we have our dragging classes in place let's move to saving the card position in the database the first thing I'm going to do is add a position column to the cards table. So I'll open the cards migration, scroll down here and say table, double, position. Now we need to find a way to save the card position without having to constantly reorder every card in the list. The way Trello seems to be doing this is by setting large gaps between cards when they are created. This way, when you drag a card between two other cards, there is usually enough space there to not have to reorder the entire list. So with that in mind, I'll open the card model and tap into the creating event. So I'll go here and say public, static, function booted, and then we'll have static, creating, function that will receive the model, and here we'll do model, position, equal to self query where card list id equal to model card list id because we're only interested in cards belonging to the same list order by desk position we'll grab the first item in the list and get its position and we'll add the large number like 60000 so whenever a card is created, we set its position to the highest position in the list, plus 60,000. Of course, that list might be empty, so let's use the null safe operator here. Another thing I'd like to do is move this magic number into a constant. So we'll have something like self, position, gap. Let's add it here. And now the next thing we need to do is go to our board controller to the show action and make sure that the cards are ordered by their position. So I'll turn this into an array and we'll have function that will receive the query and we can do query order by position. Now let's rerun the migration and see there. So I'll do php artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed go in the browser refresh, open the view dev tools and if we take a look at the cards we'll see that they now have a position property that is increased with 60,000. What we need to do next is listen to the change event on the draggable component, calculate the new position for the card and save it in the database. So I'll go back to the card list component and I listen to the change event and call an onChange function. Let's add the function. We'll receive the event and for now let's just console log it. Let's go in the browser, refresh, open the console. Let's drag a card. And here we have an object with a moved key that has the new index and the element which is basically our card. Now when we drag a card to another list, the event that is being fired is the added event and the removed event. The added contains the element and the new index. Now because we're constantly updating the card position in the database, we're only interested in the added and moved events. We can simply ignore all the other events. So I'll go back here and say let item equals e added or e moved. Otherwise, if there is no item, so if no item, we'll just return early. Now, if we do have an item, we can get the new index. So I'll do let index equals item new index and use this index to get the previous and next card. So I'll do let prev card equal to cards value of index minus one. To get the next card, we'll do cards value of index plus one. And of course, to get the current card, 
we'll do cards value of index. By default, the position will be whatever the current card position is. But if we do have a previous and next cards, so if previous card and next card, the position will be equal to the sum of those positions divided by two. So we'll do previous card position plus next card position divided by two. If we only have a previous card, the position will be equal to that card position plus half of it. So we'll do previous card position plus previous card position divided by two. If we only have a next card, the position will be equal to half of that next card position. So else if next card position equals to next card position divided by two. Now all we have to do is make an inertia put request that will update the card position and card list ID if necessary. So we'll do inertia put to a route, let's say cards move, we'll pass it the card ID, which will be card ID. And here we need the position and card list ID, which we can get from our props. So I'll do props list ID. Now let's add the cards move route. So I'll open my web routes file, go here and say slash move, and we'll call the move action. Let's add the action in the card controller. We'll have public function move, we'll receive the card through route model binding. Let's also validate the request. We'll have card list ID, which is required and needs to exist. And we'll have position, which is also required and needs to be a number. Let's update the card. We'll have card list ID equal to request of card list ID. And we'll also have position, which will be request position. But let's round this to five decimals. And finally, redirect back. Let's go in the browser to test things out. I'll refresh start dragging a couple of cards and we get an error inertia is not defined that's because i forgot to import it let's try again i'll refresh drag a couple of cards and if i refresh you'll see that some of these cards didn't maintain their position the reason why this happens is because by default, whenever an inertia request is made, the local component state is preserved, which means our cards array never gets updated with the new cards with the new positions. We could go here and set preserve state to false, but what this will do is will mess other components local state. For example, if I open this form and then I drag a card, this component local state will also reset and we don't want that so what we can do instead is watch the list prop and update the local cards with the new cards so i'll do watch props list cards and then we'll have new cards and we'll set cards dot value equal to new cards Let's import the watch function. Go in the browser. Let's go to another board. Create another list. Drag a couple of cards. Let's refresh. And all the cards maintain their position. Now, at some point, although probably never, the cards will get too close together. 
When that happens, we need to reorder the entire list. So let's go to our controller. Here. And do a check. We'll do if card position is less than, let's say, 0 0.00002. Here we need to reorder the entire list. To do that, we need to execute some raw SQL. We'll need an SQL variable that will hold the previous position. So we'll do statement set at previous position 0. So the initial previous position will be 0. And then whenever we update a row, the previous position will increase with 60,000. So we'll do db statement. And we'll have update cards set position to previous position equal to previous position plus 60,000 where card list ID equals to question mark and then order by position. Now let's also replace this 60,000 with a question mark and we can pass the values here. Card, card, list, ID. And we can also grab this value from the card class. Now to test this query, we can increase this limit to a ridiculous number like 30,000 and do a die and dump here. Now I'll go in the browser, drag one card, and we get a 500. Something is wrong. Not sure why though. Oh, we should have set position equals to. Let's try that again. We have the dine dump. And if I refresh, these cards should have their position increased by 60,000. And they do. So that worked. Let's remove the dying dump, bring this back to 0 0.002. And one last thing I'd like to do is move this inside the saved model event listener. This way, no matter where or how the card is saved, we'll always check to make sure they don't get too close to each other. So I'll grab everything, open the card model, and here we'll do static saved function model paste everything in import the db facade and we'll replace card with model and here we'll do self so now whenever a card is saved we check if its position is really really small and if that happens we recalculate the position for every card in the list. Let's also replace this with a constant. We'll do self position min. And we are done. Let's refresh again. Reorder a bunch of cards. Come on view, leave me alone. And we can drag the cards however we want them to. And if I refresh, their position is preserved. And that was it. That's how you can use view draggable with Inusha.js to reorder cards and save their position in the database. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.